Hey you guys, I'm Eric from Resman Eric's YouTube channel. You guys, before I begin, I need you guys to like, subscribe, comment, follow, share, all that good stuff, you guys. <clears throat> um, appreciate you guys for checking out my last video. My last video is called Calgary Police Shot John. Um, John Wiles. Um, it was a good one, you guys. I had two versions put out. There's an unedited and an edited version, you guys. Um, my unedited version has a lot of glitches in there, but it's the one that's popping off more than the edited one so i left both of them on there you guys are more than welcome to check them out i'll leave them in the link below um so you guys that's a little bit far off from my message to cnc candidates the title but uh i have to bring that up you guys um also oh before i begin you guys there was also a walk yesterday for john i think it was yesterday or today there's the walk they're gonna walk from the carriage house in and they're gonna end at the police station the calgary police and they want to know what happened to john you guys so calgary you better have an answer for them so yeah you guys let's begin this video um i put an offer out you guys an offer that um i guess you can say is kind of fun and sociable at the same time you guys um I offered to um, buy a thousand cards to whomever I think deserved it for uh, and help with their uh, running. So a lot of people are running for chief and council this year, you guys. And I seen a couple platforms. I didn't really like those platforms. They're kind of bullshit. One of us want uh, someone wants to get the audit. Someone wants to get a copy of the audit, <clears throat> hold the money up, and think it's all right, just like what. Uh, the three stooges did last term or last distribution Lori roger and mr fox they end up uh um i encouraged it you guys i encouraged it and i was for it because i thought they had a plan they end up not having a plan you guys and they held up a lot of money the three thousand dollars and it kind of hurt a lot of the families like like families like mine the little small families um Children needed the money, kids needed the money, and they really fucked that up, you guys. So this guy, I'm not going to mention any publicity is good publicity, so I'm not going to mention his name. However, he wants us to, he wants to get the audit, and he's given them till the 28th or something like that next month. And then he wants somebody, wants us to protest if they don't give us our full money. That's not worth it, you guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then we got another counselor that another one that's running for council. He doesn't have any education at all, you guys. He sucks. He can't. He doesn't have broken English. I seen him at the gas station. He's like, "Oh, the Horn Society didn't capture me. The Horn Society didn't capture me, so I'm gonna run for chief and council." I was like, "What the fuck, man? You're gonna run for chief and council? What does the Horn Society have to do with running for council?" See, so I got that. You got that kind of brain that's going to be trying to run for council, that's going to be make decisions for us. So remember that, guys. It hasn't been good these past few years that the people making this for us can't read. And also remember, you guys, don't sell yourself short because in 2020, we elected a few, uh, a, a former drug dealer and drug user. So, you guys. Don't sell yourself short. If people like that can get on with the popularity vote by looking good, you can do it yourself. So, you guys, that's the reason why I kind of want to do my podcast. I want to kind of see where everybody was at, you know. <clears throat> and I kind of figured that nobody would be able to handle my line of question and questions anyways because I had a lot of um, good topics I wanted to speak about. I wanted to speak about the lawsuit that the chief currently had the current chief had against a reserve for a pension plan that he drafted himself with the help of someone that deceased that was deceased uh, before it went to court. So I want to talk about stuff, the actual factual nitty gritty, you know, I want to speak on that, but I noticed, I kind of figured that no one can kind of handle that because to take a, to do a podcast, you have to have journalism skills, journalism skills, you have to have at least a little bit of education, you guys. So I know anyone can do it, you guys, like I said, Podcast wise, you know, podcast wise, anyone could do it, but it just helps to have a little bit of education, you guys. And it won't help to have a little bit of education to help you get elected. Get you elected on a seat. 
But this year, I see the people that are running are the people that were trying to run before, and they got the same platforms. They suck. You guys ain't going to get on. You guys don't waste your time and your money. So save your money, you guys. Don't bother running if, if, if you can't. If you can't handle what us, we the people, are asking for, we're asking for education and we're asking for equality. No one, no one, ain't, no one spoke about equality yet, and it should be a big issue because um, I, I know being chief in council is only skimming off the top, and that's your only job because you can't change mandates and you can't. Uh, Pinko with statutes, you can't you can't fucking change the law. You can't do any of that. Last term we had a lot half of the majority of the council saying, Oh, we're gonna get rid of Leslie at housing. And only to find out you guys were all scared of her. And I get the reason because you can't just fire somebody. That's grounds for a lawsuit for millions and millions of dollars that we would regret giving to her rather than just letting her keep that job and fuck us over. Over. You guys, um, I think that whoever is going to run this year, you better have a good head on your shoulders, you guys. It's not just for anybody to say they, you know, we're going to get off that popularity card. Although there's these little um, loopholes that I know about that I want to speak with you about, but I guess that'll never happen because my offer's off the table, you guys. I won't. Be giving the thousand cards away like I promised. Um, well, I didn't promise. I just said if anybody was, I was gonna. That was gonna be the what I would give you guys as a contribution. You know, my donation. My donation. I wanted to do it for fun, you guys, but I guess that won't happen. You guys, uh, you guys had more important things to do. But you guys, uh, my questions will still get out there. You guys still have to answer questions. You guys still have to answer to us because we're the people that you guys were trying to get us to look your direction. So if you guys want to want us to look your direction, at least hear us out and at least answer a few of our questions. Until then, you guys, um, until my next video, I'm out. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. I'm gonna release. I'm gonna do a live, so you guys stay live. Uh, stay tapped in. I'm gonna.